Okay, guys, let's look at getting the knee torque position, okay, when someone approaches us from standing. Okay, everything we've looked at so far is the person's on their knees. Okay, we get close with the underhook, they're on their knees, we either get the knee torque or we're already close and then they stand their leg up and then we get the knee torque. Okay, so it's different when someone approaches you uh, with a knee cut pass or from distance. Okay, so let's just have a look at that when our partner is standing, okay, and then coming in with the knee cut position here. Okay, like so. Okay, this is pretty much the only way you can start to play half guard is if he comes with the knee cut. Okay, so this is gonna be really common. Uh, let's deal with someone being standing here in the knee cut position. Okay, or standing like tall and uh, away from us like this, like standing super tall. Okay, trying to back away. Okay, so either driving in from standing position, okay, or backing away from standing position. And as you can see, maybe already, major key is the reverse alley heave. Okay, he's using this hook here. If he comes forwards, okay, this hook has to be active the whole time. Okay, toes hooking in behind the hip here. Okay, uh, nice and tight, making sure that if he straightens his leg even, okay, my hook follows and is as tight as it can be. Okay, so anytime someone's approaching you from standing and they try to come in with the knee slice, your foot needs to whip into place here, okay, and at the very least get the reverse alley heave. Okay, now, second thing will be stopping his knee going to the mat. Okay, this is good, okay, but it's so much better if you can hide this space here. Okay, so I don't want any space for the knee to drive to the mat. This is gonna make things more difficult. So the first thing you engage is your reverse hook, and the second thing you do is crunch on that side. Okay, so you stay small here. Okay, my elbow is tight. We're still acting in that same kind of mindset as we were from the knees position. Okay, this hand is elbow tight. Even more important here, guys, that you don't get your uh, arm, grab my collar, grab my collar, you're tight, yeah. That you don't get your arm pulled up here, okay? And it could even be just at the sleeve here, I'm like shelving, making things difficult, okay? I need to keep my elbow tight here. So even if he grabs my sleeve, okay, my elbow pull up, my elbow won't move and my elbow stays tight to my body here. Okay, so elbow in tight here, okay? Reverse down the heave, and then my hands are framing and making sure that he doesn't control this arm. Okay, so just that simple, thing here, just clicking the reverse del heave into place, okay, makes a massive, massive difference to your ability to create knee torque, okay, it gives me connection to him, I crunch my body here, okay, my free leg can be toes here too on the hip to help push away and make some distance, okay, my free leg can be lassoing, a lot of the time people hold your, your collar, you can be lassoing here, okay, you can be toes on the hip here, okay, you can just be with your knee over the top of his arm here, Okay, I could be with my foot up into his bicep. Okay, like so. Okay, but this is the common theme. Crunching tight here. Okay, using my toes, using my leg. Okay, trying to keep the distance. So how do we get to the knee torque from here? Okay, we have the reverse alley heave, we're crunching in. Okay, I'm gonna dive my underhook in close to the waist. Okay, I'm gonna start trying to lift with my reverse alley heave just to get his weight up off of me. And I'm gonna do the same thing as the scissors motion we did before. Now he's just already with his knee open standing. Okay, so it's a little bit easier if we just rotate. Okay, so we're here. I start reaching in. Okay, my reverse dial heave is gonna drop. Okay, but I'm just gonna to try to drag on his heel here. Okay, that will allow me to start passing off and get into the knee torque here. So he goes on the knee cut. I hide myself. Okay, I try to lift him forwards. Okay, now watch as I drop and then force his leg to the mat change off and now we're ready to go okay so main thing is this tight in the space here and then you're using the reverse dali heave the same would apply if he was on the knees okay he can lift his knee up and drive it this way to the mat okay he can also drive his way to the knee hook okay go back to your knee inside so my hook needs to be active step up okay and follow his leg back down like up, like down, like so, okay? So, we looked at when his knee drives across to the mount, Oop. knee torque here, literally the same thing. He goes knee slice, okay, he's trying to drive through, I protect, okay, I lift him up, and then I switch down and start creating my knee torque here, and that will give me all my sweeping offense. Engage the reverse valley heave, make some distance here, can you knee slice through? Okay, make some distance, and then try to start dropping into your knee torque position like so. Okay, so that's when someone's in the knee slice driving forwards into you. Let's just look real quick when someone's actually backing away. Okay, so he started with the knee cut, 
He feels like pressuring through, but he feels me reaching underhook and he starts standing up tall and he do a bit more realistic, like, like push me away and stand up tall here. Okay, he's backing away from me like so. Okay, so I can't get to the waist. I'm in danger maybe of getting re-underhooked here. Okay, so anytime he's backing away, I like to do an arm drag on his knee here. Okay, so I start sitting up, hooking his knee. Okay, and then I hook his knee again here and then pull his knee back down to the floor. Okay, so I have the reverse style here. Okay, if he's driving in, okay, it's easy. Okay, we'll force it uh, nice and simple. Okay, I'm trying to go close. He's pushing me and backing away. Super careful of this space. Okay, you cannot let this happen. So if you're backing away, I'm trying to go close. Okay, hook. Now I'm going to go with a second hook here. Okay, just like arm drag, but it's on his knee. Okay, to here, and then just pull his knee to the mat. And then try to reach your other arm up and around the hip. Okay, so you're back and later on. Okay, I'm here. One, two. And basically you basically just try to drag him down into it. Okay, switch off. And then you're ready to start uh, looking for your sweeps. Okay, so when someone's standing, the reverse dog heave is the most important thing. And covering your space. And then it's just a matter of is he driving in or is he backing away. Okay, so he approaches. Okay, I'm ready with my reverse del heave. I can touch my arm. Okay, I get in here. Okay, I try and start looking for the knee torque. He's backing away. Sit up, hook his leg. Reach your other arm through. And now start kind of cutting the corner here, reaching for his hip. And then just try to drag that knee back down to the mat. Okay, and now we're back into the position we want to be in. Okay, so super important to get snappy with your reverse del heave. It's actually incredible how much stronger you're gonna be on one side, even me, myself. I'm so much stronger with my hook on this direction because 90% of people pass this way. So my hook is very strong here, okay? But it's even beneficial to just practice making your hook, have someone step in and try to be strong here. Can try to uh, free your hook when you like around. Like on this side, I'm not so strong, okay? On the other side, my hook is super strong when you like Okay, I can keep my I can keep my hook super good here. Okay, so we need to be really strong. That's what's going to give us the time to get in and try to start looking for the uh, positions we want. Okay, it's having that hook on the leg, and it also stops them just knee cutting straight through and giving you more problems. Okay, so reverse el heba, hide your elbow, protect your arm, look for your knee torque. If they're backing away, we can use that uh, knee drag or arm drag type motion. Okay, to whip them down and then force your way into the uh, game right there.